Bye, scholars. It's me, Miss Fans, and today we're gonna do some math. Math, yes. Do you love math? Math is really good for you, especially when you get money. We have to know math in order to count our money. I love to count my money. Do you love to count your money? Well, today we're gonna learn about some numbers. Numbers, yes. Do you know your numbers? Okay, we're gonna count and we're gonna count up to five. So we're gonna need one hand. Can you hold your hand up? All right, now look, first I want you to make a fist. Whenever you make that fist, I want you to say zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do it one more time. Every time we say a number, we're gonna put up another finger, okay? Let's try it again. What's that? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. We have five fingers on this hand. Can you wiggle your fingers? What we're gonna do today, we're gonna identify the numbers zero through five. Okay, what's that number? Zero. How about this one? Two. This one? Three. This one? One. What about this one? four, and this one, five, like a high five. Can you give me a high five? Very good, you did an amazing job. Now with these numbers, okay, I want you to take your numbers and lay them on the floor like mine. So I have zero, zero, one, two, three, four, and five, and they're laying on the floor in front of me. What we're gonna do now is use these cards. You know, we use these sometimes when we subitize numbers. We're gonna use these cards. So I'm gonna show you the card and I want you to show me with your fingers and say it with your mouth how many dots you see, okay? One, yes! So we're gonna take this card because it has one dot and put it on the number one. Let's do another one. Five, how did you know it was five? Yes, because it's two at the top, two at the bottom, boop, and one in the middle. That's the number five. Can you find the number five on the floor? Yes, it's right here, so I'm gonna sit my card on top of it. How about this one? Two, yes, it's two. Just like we have two eyes. And we have two ears and two hands. This is the number two. Can you find the number two on your cards on the floor? I found mine, very good. How about this number? Four, yes, it's four. Two at the top and two at the bottom, that's four. Can you find the number four on your numbers on the floor? I found mine. How about this one? Look at it. Zero, yes, it's zero. There's none on here. So we're gonna set this one on the zero. And our last one, three. Three, this is the number three. I'll find my number three and sit it on there. You did it. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did so amazing. Now collect all of your cards that have your dots on it. And this time, I'm gonna play a supertizing game with you. I'm gonna show you really quick, and you have to take a picture with your brain and remember what it looks like and tell me how many, okay? Let's try it. Ready? How many was that? Two. Two, yes, it was the number two. How many is this? Ready? Supertize. Did you say four? How did you know it was four? There's two at the top and two at the bottom. That's four. 
that's ready and super ties how many did you see five how did you know it was five what gave you the clue well there was two at the top two at the bottom and one boop, in the middle let's do another number ready and super ties three yes you did amazing ready and super ties how many zero there was none and ready last one and super ties how many one yes it was one now we're going to use our manipulatives i'm using cubes today for my manipulatives remember manipulatives are not toys they're what we use to learn and so today we're going to use cubes you can use cereal Anything that you have at home that your mom or dad lets you use, you can use them. But remember, they're not toys. They're used for learning. What we're going to do, we're going to pick a number. So I'm going to pick this one. That's the number one. I need to put one of my manipulatives on there. Okay? The next number I'm going to use is, what was that number? Four. Can you show me four fingers? Now let's count four manipulatives. Ready? One, two, three, four. I have four manipulatives on my number four. What's this number? Three. Can you count out three manipulatives? Ready? Let's do it together. Ready? One, two, three. You're doing amazing. What's this number? Zero. Do we need to put any manipulatives on there for zero? No, we don't put any on zero. We leave it blank because zero means none. How about this one? What number is that? Two. Two. Can you count to two? Let's count two manipulatives. Ready? Go. One. Two. And our last number. What number is that? Five. Oh, that's going to be a big one. Let's get to counting. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I have five manipulatives on mine. Did you do yours? Did you do all of your numbers? I did too. Give me a high five. Now take your manipulatives and put them back. I'm going to put mine back in my bowl. And the last activity we're going to do with our numbers is finding the words that say each number. Look at this one. Let's pick a word. Look at this one. Do you know what letter that is? That first letter. Yes, it's a T. And the T says Make sure your teeth are together. Let's do it. T, t, t. Two. Two. This word says two. Can you say two? Can you put this card on the number two? I found my number two. Look at it. And I put the word two on it. Very good. Let's try another one. This one starts with what letter is that? O. O has two sounds. It says ah and it says oh. But this one is one. It's kind of strange, huh? Yeah, it is. It's hard to sound out. But if it starts with a O, it's one. Can you say one? Can you find the number one? Very good. I match mine to the number one. <gasps> Look at this one. It starts with this letter. What letter is that? F. The F says four. Because I hear, see that R at the end. Four. 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 Can you find the number four on your paper? Great job. Let's do another one. What letter is this? A Z. And the Z says Z. Can you find a number that says Z? 
zero zero very good let's put this on top of the zero and how about this one it's kind of like four because it starts with the same letter what letter is that f and the f says but this one has a v and an i it says five five because when you say it you hear i five five can you find the number five very good and here's our last one it has a t and an h and when we put th together they go put your look at my tongue three you see them e's three because it said e three can you find the number three three awesome did you get them all correct give me a high five we're going to try one more thing this time i'm going to hold up a card and i'm not going to sound it out with you i want to see if you remember what number it was look at that one that one starts with a t t t and then we went to this one it started with an f and it has that i five five this one with the Z, zero, yes. How about this one that we couldn't sound out? It hit the O, one, one. And the last, this one starts with an F and it has an R, four, four. And the last one, look, and it has the E, three, three. Good job. Hey, scholars, I'm so proud of you. You did amazing. You're able to identify your numbers from zero all the way to five. You now know the number words. You can read. You're a reader. You're doing amazing. And you were able to use your manipulatives and put them where they went. You counted them out and you put the right amount and you super ties. I'm so proud of you. I'll be back for our next learning adventure, but I want you to go and practice, 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 okay? Don't stop practicing. Make sure you get all of this done. Again, go do it by yourself or with your parents, okay? Have fun, and I'll see you on our next learning adventure. Bye-bye.